right, the Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Boy, you got to stand out and take your note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra. Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there, firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. for him there on the sidekick piece. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's option. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Whiffs on the elbow. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh, nice and tight leg kick, yeah. Oh, Malley gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. So 31 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Jab gets through for Sean. Oh, what an offering up over the top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. So Leon Rocky Edwards continuing to put on a show in the striking realm here tonight, and a lot of people believe this is not just the world champion, but the best striker in the world's weight division. I mean, this guy is really good with his hands and his feet. He sets traps, he moves, he's never stationary. Tonight he has shown the next level of striking in the welterweight division. We've expected these types of performances from him, and he continues to produce it. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Lands a nice leg kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the point. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by O'Malley. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Try to establish that jab. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Less than two minutes now to go. O'Malley gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. O'Malley's picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, a big left hand! Oh, nice kick. One minute to go in the round. Edwards gets tattooed by that straight punch. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Push kick there to the body. Pretty good jab there by Edwards. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and uh, it's working. Uh, 10 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. You ready to fight? Ready. Third ready. round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Edwards. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, switch kick lands for him now. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley. Is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really has it. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. What a moment for Leon Edwards, another massive knockout. I'm not sure any KO is ever gonna be on the level of what he did to Kamal Usman, but this one was pretty sensational. Yeah, it was a tremendous knockout. I mean, sure, he didn't knock him out in the last 30 seconds like he did Kamaru Usman, but 